What's up, rock stars? Coach Betty Rocker here. So today I just wanted to give you a tutorial to doing pull-ups, building up to pull-ups, and of course their alternative, which is the chin-up, just a different grip with your hands, all alternatively works some different muscle groups, but the pull-up is a great move, and the way we get stronger with pull-ups frequently is just doing them, whether we do them assisted, or we do them hanging, or we just work on our grip strength, or we can even do them down on the floor and build some of the muscles. So I'm just gonna go through all of the different variations and help you build up your strength for doing pull-ups today. So for me, for if I'm doing a regular unassisted pull-up, I'm pretty short, so I'm gonna climb up on my squat rack, find a good grip on my bar, and I'm gonna place my hands, palms facing away from me. And because I'm so short, I'm gonna put this um, noodle under my feet just so I have somewhere to start from that feels supportive and, and I'm just gonna pull myself straight up working to keep my body in a nice straight line and working to bring my chest as far up towards the bar as I can I'm able to get my chin past the bar which feels pretty good and I'm keeping my shoulders back my core is braced and I'm not <sighs> swinging around. Now, a step down from the regular pull-up is of course to do an assisted pull-up. And for that, we can use stretchy bands attached to any of our fixed pull-up bars. And once again, I'm gonna use the side of my squat rack to help me come up. This pull-up band gives me the least amount of support. It's very lightweight. And this will enable me to come up and lower myself down using that same good form. So I'm in a nice straight line. My hands are wider than my shoulders. My core is braced. Now, what I've done in order to build up to doing regular pull-ups without the assistance, a pull-up that uses very little assistance is typically starting out with something that's gonna give me more assistance. So this band, as you can see, is thicker than the one beside it. And this band is the thickest of all. So if you have a bar, whether it's in your doorway or you're using a squat cage like this, you could use these different amounts of resistance to support you as you build your strength. Now, there's a reason why I'm going in reverse here so that as I fatigue, I've got more and more support as I'm demonstrating this to you. So same, same thing. And that, that's, you can see that that's much easier for me to do. And I'm gonna do it again with this heavy or thicker band. And that is gonna give me the most support of all. So any of these options, you just wanna have your hands at an even distance away from you and then you're pulling yourself up, keeping your elbows, you know, back in line with your, with your wrists and working on not letting your body sway side to side. So all of those are helpful using the band. And now I wanna show you a couple of other things that you can do with your assisted band or even without, just to build the strength in the muscles that we're gonna work for a pull up. So I'll climb back up. And I'll just move this one out of the way and that one out of the way so you can see what's going on. And we'll use this sort of middle band. You could use any of the bands that you want. So what I'm gonna do is first, just practice hanging from the bar. Our grip strength is um, a really important indicator of overall strength and it can be helpful just to get comfortable building up to hanging. And hanging in general is just awesome for us because it helps to decompress our spine and it's really, really supportive for our bodies. So you could practice just hanging. And then if you wanted to, you could maybe assist yourself up, whether use or either using your band to help you come up, and then just hang for as long as you can in the position of the pull-up. And then slowly lower yourself back down. Maybe you wanna use an assist to come back up. And if you're in a gym, sometimes they'll have a pull-up machine that um, you put your knee on that also gives you some assistance as you're coming up and down and you can change that as you build your strength. Like I was saying before, the best way to get stronger with a pull-up is to just do them, right? 
and that's the only way. So like the best thing to do is to have some of these different assistance bands as you're building your strength. And this is exactly what I do because I'm not always able to knock out a bunch of um, pull-ups without any assistance unless I've been practicing them for consecutive weeks. And I'm always, when I haven't done them for a while, I have to rebuild my vase again. So I'll start out with something like one of these heavier bands that gives me the most assistance. Then I'll move into a band that gives me less and even less until I'm trying to do a few with just my own body weight pulling myself up. So the hang is a great way to practice. So is the hang where you're up in the pull-up position. And then another option that I think I'd just love, especially if this all looks way too hard <laughs> or you don't have the option of uh, somewhere to hang from. These I work into a ton of my workouts just to help build up the muscles that do pull-ups because they're just amazing muscles to work, right? We're working the back, the lats, the muscles between our shoulder blades, like our rhomboids. We're also working the back of our shoulders, our deltoids, our rear delts. So you're gonna come into a position on your stomach and you're not gonna let your back be arched here. So we're gonna gently tuck our pelvis down, bracing the core. And we're gonna grab a towel or a strap, anything at all that you've got handy. This is just what I've got right here as is 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 a strap. And I'm gonna apply some tension, putting my hands at the same position I would on the pull-up bar. And I'm just gonna lift my chin up slightly without bringing my head up and cranking my neck. So my head and neck are still in a neutral position. And as I pull apart my band or towel, I'll just drive my elbows down and back just down and back. And I feel this working the exact same muscles that I was working in my pull-up. So palms are facing the floor, just like they were facing away from me uh, when I was up on the bar. And I'm just pulling my elbows down and back. So if you made it this far in the video, that is fantastic. And you have mastered or seen lots of different variations now that would allow you to build the muscle strength to work on building up to full pull-ups. The alternative to the pull-up, which works more of your biceps and a little of your chest and also hits some of your back is the chin-up. And the real difference with the chin-up is just that, you know, our palms are gonna face us this time. Our hands are gonna be pretty much in that parallel position with our shoulders. So we're gonna line everything up. And from here, same options for you. So you can do it just your own body weight. And again, I need something to put my feet down to. So this is one of your options, of course, just doing your chin-ups to your bar. And you can, of course, then work through the different band options or simply hanging. And you can start with whatever allows you to confidently and with good form pull yourself up. So if I were to give you an alternative to that for a floor exercise, I would say do biceps curls because the muscle groups that you're mostly going to hit and that are going to get strong with a, with a, a chin up are going to be your biceps. So I would practice biceps curls with my body pressed back against a, a wall or surface behind me to ensure that I had my shoulders back and down in their sockets as I worked on my biceps curls. And I would work on keeping those elbows in close to the body. So these are the different variations you can do with your pull-up bar and some of the fun ways to build up to them. Hope this was helpful. Feel free to drop me any questions that you have. I look forward to hearing from you. Till next time, I'm Betty Rocker. You are so awesome, blossom, and amazing.